This man fed crows for years, then one day they gave him an unexpected gift in return. Crows are one of, if not the most, intelligent birds in the world. Belonging to the group known as corvids, crows are able to recognize themselves in mirrors, use tools, and plan for the future. All cognitive abilities, which are closer to those seen in non-human primates than to those of most other birds. This intelligence may be related to them having an unusually high number of brain cells involved in processing information. But along with all those other amazing abilities, crows have even started to work out the complicated process of trading. Stuart Dalkist is a 59-year-old man who lives in Seattle, in the USA, and who has been a bird enthusiast his entire life. Crows are amazing creatures, and I've always felt this way since I was a boy, Stuart said in an interview. Birds, all kinds, have been a real focal part of my life. I love watching them, listening to their calls, identifying them, oh, and helping them if they need help. I'm not a real birder with high-powered binoculars or anything like that, but they play an outsized role in my enjoyment of life. It's his love for these beautiful winged creatures that had led the kind-hearted man to rescue and rehabilitate any injured or orphaned birds that he comes across in his day-to-day -day life. But it is one particular species of bird that has really captured his heart, and they are crows. When birds are very young, they will become very tame, and I had a few wild birds as a kid, a robin, a magpie, since I became an adult, crows have been my companions quite a lot as well, Stewart said in an interview. I had one called The Judge, named after Cormac McCarthy's character in Blood Meridian, for 10 or 11 years, and we'd likely still have him if it wasn't for some raccoons killing him one night. While we had The Judge, we also had quite a few rescue crows, which we released. There was one rescue that came to us while still very young, and he became quite tame. We gave him to a wild animal trainer, and as I understand it, that crow now features in movies. As well as rescuing and raising these avian animals, Stuart also loves to watch them in the wild. He always makes sure that his bird feeders are full every day so that he can watch as the local birds flock to his garden and he can watch them interacting with one another. However, there is a very special family of birds that Stuart has formed an amazing bond with. A family of four crows that live in a fir tree just outside his home. He first noticed the little family four years ago when they first moved into the Douglas fir tree. Stuart and his family could hear the baby crows in the tree when they called out for food from their parents. Stuart loved the sound as he knew that it meant that more amazing and beautiful birds had been introduced to the world. One day though, as he was leaving his home, the man noticed something very shocking and worrying on his driveway. Right in the middle of the concrete, just underneath the fir tree were the two baby crows. Stuart was instantly worried. How had they gotten onto the ground? He asked himself, as he knew that they were much too young to be able to fly on their own yet. What worried Stuart the most was that since the birds couldn't fly, he knew they were easy prey for any cats or other animals that might want to have them for their dinner. Knowing that he couldn't leave them on the ground to be caught by any predators, Stuart quickly scooped the two babies up much to their protest, and took them inside his home. He then found them a small shoebox which they could sit in whilst the man thought of a way to get them back to their nest and to their parents. It was then that the man thought to grab a ladder and prop it up the tree so that he could reach the nest and safely put the baby crows back where they belonged. We got them into a tree and the parents, pretty angry with us actually, took it from there and the little ones survived, Stuart said in an interview. Not long after that, Stuart and his family started feeding the little family of four birds. They wanted to make sure that the animals always had enough to eat so that they would grow big and strong. At first, the crows were hesitant to accept the offerings as they were cautious about humans and what could happen to them if they got too close to them. However, over time, the cheeky little birds began to grow more confident with Stuart and would even demand to be fed when they were hungry. Sometimes when I'm walking, they'll fly with me, landing on the wires and branches above as I amble along. When we get home, they like to land on the fence and wait to be fed. Other times, they simply caw caw at us. It's pretty obvious when they want food. He gives them high-quality dry cat food with very little filler, 
Crows aren't as keen on corn as people seem to think. As well as knowing when they want to be fed, Stuart was even able to identify the different members of the crow family by their appearance. The adult male is very distinctive, Stuart said. His right leg was injured at some point and didn't heal properly, so he hops on only one foot. I often wish we could do something about it, but there really isn't a way. He gets around just fine otherwise. The baby crows were obviously smaller than their parents, and the female crow didn't have an injury, so Stuart knew who was cawing at him for food every time he saw them. The kind-hearted man continued to feed the birds for the next four years, which is when they did something truly amazing. It had started off as a normal day for Stuart. He had gone about his morning routine before going to feed the family of three crows. Sadly, the female crow had passed away after being caught by a raccoon one night. As Stuart went out to feed the animals their normal breakfast, he noticed something very strange lying near the front door. As the man looked closer, he realized that it was a small branch from the fir tree, but it was what was on it that amazed him. Sitting halfway up the small branch was the tab from a can of pop. Stuart was confused at first. He didn't know where the item had come from or who had given it to him. So, thinking it was a little bit strange, he took it into his home and put it safely away to look over more closely later on. But then the most incredible thing happened. The next day, as Stuart was going to feed the crows again, he opened the front door only to watch as the male bird flew down and placed another fir tree branch on the driveway for him. Stuart was amazed. The branch was exactly like the first one he had found, with the tab from a can of pop pulled through it again. Stuart couldn't believe it. This isn't only generous, it's creative, it's art. My mind is blown, he said in a post to social media. This behavior of crows shows that they clearly have deep emotions, as well as a high level of intelligence, as it is almost as if they were thanking the man for all of the love, care, and effort that he put into keeping their little family safe over the past few years. As well as that, it also shows that these types of birds are smart enough to create new objects by combining two separate things together into something that some people may even call art. However, no matter whether this family of crows brings Stuart new gifts or not, this kind-hearted man will forever be a part of the Little Crows family. What an incredible story! Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible tales. And if you can't wait until then, you can head on over to my channel to find even more amazing stories.